This is just a short video on how to take off the three jaw chuck and how to mount it back, put it back. Uh, this is this sounds like a really simple thing to do, but actually it it is a bit, little bit um, complicated if you don't know what uh, lies behind it, and it all has to do with the taper on the on the spindle uh, and the, the taper in the back plate of the chuck which has to mate correctly and if you don't do that there will be a slight run out in the chuck and obviously we don't want any run out if possible so let me show you how to do this <coughs> first off i wind my carriage back so it's nice and clear maybe the bed stop just slide it over too to have it clear and then I always have a piece of wood which I put on the bed just in case I drop the chuck so it doesn't go down. Then I have my special key which is specially made for this um, cam lock and what I do I just undo them like that and maybe you also want to undo the Do the second cam, undo it fully, and the third one, undo it just like a tiny little bit. Like, don't do go all the way. And then, what you can do is just um, hold it like that and give it a good blow or two if it doesn't want to budge then just use a mallet and that's easy and the reason i haven't undone the third one fully is just to catch the the chuck in case i'm in case my hands are oily or slippery or just clumsy and then i can nicely and slowly take it off Mounting back is the reversal of removal, except a few things. First of all, you have to make sure that the taper inside the back plate is absolutely clean, and the taper inside um, the taper on the spindle is clean as well. So what I do is just give it. This way I'm making absolutely sure that I have nothing in the in the taper and also these faces which will mate here. And my spindle has a mark on it, if you see, and my three jewel chuck has a zero on it where is it there it is there's a zero on it and what i found that if i put it align it the zero with the mark one of the cams goes past the the locking sign so and then i went one one step forward one rotation forward and put it in that position and it's absolutely fine in that so i hold the chuck get my special key and just close it it's like not even half a finger rotate it same with the second one and the third one actually on the third one you can put like a slightly pressure just like that just just one finger and the third one actually the third one now you can maybe from zero to full you can go three quarters maybe so let's say second one you see i just like quickly give it a good like that and this is the third one again and now i go fully 
and I can feel it on the key, it just moves again. And this is, I'm doing it the, the fullest, the tightest I can by four fingers. <clears throat> And this is the last, that was the last one. And I go around again to check them. And I should not feel any movement anymore. No, no movement. No movement. And no movement. And if I was to put a, like a dial indicator on here or here, I would get the least amount of run out because I know my tapers the two mating tapers are not like this or not like this but they are like concentric to each other because i gradually tighten the cams up the same thing i would do with my collet shock clean the tapers all around blow them with, with air if you feel like it uh, find your signs, your marks, and on this one I have a mark here as well, just a line and a line on the back plate and on the collet chuck. And on this one actually they they align together, so I will just put it up there. And just for security I won't let go of it until I lock one of the cams. And yeah, one finger. One finger. And on the third one, I go two fingers, two fingers. Four fingers, like a quarter, three quarters, sorry, three quarters, three quarters, and then full, and full, and full, and it doesn't move, it doesn't budge, not a gram. It's nice and running round. And I just set up an indicator. And I just want to show you that. As stick the indicator stand sticks out too much. You can see it's pretty much bang on. <clears throat> 